Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video, doing weekend forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. It's going to be a very complex week's weather coming up. Low pressure is going to be in control of the weather. So we can say that the broad thing is a continuation of the deluge. There could be more spells of rain coming and going. Very strong winds at times as well. The difference is that cold air is trying to get into the mix this week. We're trying to get cold, cold air trying to get in from the north and engaging with these areas of low pressure it means that there will be a risk of not only heavy rain but also at times some quite heavy snow and that's particularly for northern parts of the country but not exclusively so um however i think it will be northern areas that have the greatest risk of snow in the week ahead southern areas will often be mild but temperatures will be a bit up and down there so at times we will feel a bit colder down in the south but in the north actually quite a cold and potentially fairly wintry week uh to come so I'll get on that for you very shortly, uh, just to say that uh, we've got a busy day coming up at Garth's Office today. We're going to have a week's 10-day video update after this one. We've got our CFS versus Beijing Climate Centre mashup coming up this evening. We're going to go six months ahead with those two models and compare the two to see what they're showing. I think we're going to have to slot in Snow Watch as well for Monday for Northern Britain. We will cover it in weekend broadcast. Um, but uh, as I've been going through the data this morning, looking at uh, the weather for the week ahead, it has become quite apparent that there could be a fairly significant snow event for the north overnight Sunday and into Monday. So I think that will probably warrant snow watch, um, and that, if we can fit it in, uh, will be sort of later this evening, probably around 7, 8 o'clock. It'll be a very, very busy day of updates, to say uh, the least, with four of them uh, coming up, so uh, loads, uh, loads to get in. Uh, the websites using full weekend forecasts are coming from the weatherout.com and westcent.d, beginning with the radar picture at Gazworthy. So let's start there. Uh, so, yes, we've had lots of showers in the northern half of the country today. Uh, bright colours indicating um, heavy uh, showers as well mixed in. They have been wintry over parts of Scotland in particular, giving snow. I've seen that there have been some snow in Aberdeen, for example. The radar pictures never show up snow showers wintry showers all that well so there's probably more snow around across scotland that you would than you would think by looking at that radar uh, image also some wintry showers across parts of northern Ireland, northern England. but coming further southwards there's just been one or two light rain showers across parts of the midlands wales so a fair amount of dry weather down across the south and southeast but real activity has been up in the north uh, through this morning and will continue to be i think through the course of this afternoon as well Here's today's lots of pressure chart. So it's a windy and showery day. Low pressure is to the north of the British Isles. We're bringing in this strong westerly wind across the country uh, and particularly strong up in the north where gale force gusts are looking, um, are going to be likely this afternoon. So the showers in the north this afternoon, heavy and wintry showers up there. Snow coming down to low levels in places across Scotland. Wintry showers for Northern Ireland and Northern England. Further south of that, um, just a few light rain showers with a mix of sunny spells and variable cloud for many central and southern parts of England and Wales. A big north-south split with temperatures today very mild in the south, up to around 12, maybe 13 degrees. That's into mid-50s Fahrenheit. But further north, a lot colder across Scotland. We're only going to be around 3 or 4 degrees uh, as those uh, snow showers are blowing through. We'll feel even colder than that with those gale force northwest winds across Scotland. Overnight tonight, we're going to bring the next low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So initially, the showers will become lighter and more uh, scattered, becoming mostly restricted to northern and western parts of Scotland. But then in the second half of the night, outbreaks of rain will quickly sweep in from off the Atlantic. It very wet through the second half of the night, particularly across uh, northern England, northern Ireland, down through the Midlands, much of Wales, Lincolnshire, those sort of areas turning very wet. To the south of that, the rain will be a little bit uh, patchier in nature. And the far north, the north part of Scotland, central northern Scotland, will have a mainly dry and cold night outside of those snow showers. Temperatures could go down to minus five tonight across the far north of Scotland. But in the southwest, probably holding up at around 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit. So a big contrast in temperature 
temperatures north to south across the country tonight. Winds becoming strong across southern areas uh, yet again. Through Sunday, that low pressure zips away quite quickly into the North Sea, and then we build up this slight transient ridge of high pressure ahead of this next area of low pressure that's waiting in the wings in the Atlantic. So, uh, Sunday starts off very wet through many central and eastern parts. Of that rain will very quickly push into the North Sea, though, clear out of the way. We're left with wintry showers in the north and west of Scotland. Those will tend to die out through the day. And actually, sunny afternoon looks quite nice. Most places dry with sunny spots under that ridge of high pressure. The highest temperatures will be in the south first thing in the morning, probably around 10 uh, or 11 degrees, but uh, the temperatures will drop away through the day. We'll generally finish up in single digits in most parts of the country. Uh, overall uh, finishing up somewhere uh, between around sort of 4 and 8 degrees Celsius. Now this low pressure could become quite a major feature as it moves in from off the Atlantic through the course of Sunday night and into Monday. Uh, and uh, this could become our next named storm that hasn't yet been named by UK Met or uh, Met Air Run. So it's probably just going to be an area of low pressure. But there is a possibility this could become named. Initially, uh, Sunday night will start dry. And we'll see outbreaks of rain spreading in from off the Atlantic, driven in by freshening west to southwest wind. As that rain moves into the cold air, it will turn increasingly to snow. And this is the reason I'm thinking we may have to do snow watch this evening for Scotland and Northern England. So Northern Ireland, primarily rain, possibly some sleet or snow at high ground. But as that pushes into Northern England and Scotland, there's an increasing risk of it turning to snow. There could be heavy snow with a covering widely across Scotland, even to low levels. I think there could be covering of snow um, on a sunny night uh, across Scotland. Further south into northern England, again, there will be snow around. Some of it will be quite heavy particularly, but maybe not exclusively over high ground. For Wales, it's primarily rain. And then through the Midlands, Central, Southern, South East England, I think we say mostly dry, but it does become windy and maybe damp on Sunday night. Temperatures in the south will be mild in the north. Obviously, with snow moving in, it will be cold. And then that low pressure moves across Scotland through the course of Monday. Again, there could be some very strong winds with this. Uh, gusts could go up to around 80 miles an hour across western and southwestern parts of Scotland and by the end of Monday afternoon. So severe gale force winds possible in the north on Monday. Also starting with outbreaks of snow across Scotland. Significant snow in places too, with a covering looking likely. Rain, sleet and snow, wintry mix in northern England. All of that pushes um, eastwards into the North Sea during the course of Monday itself. And then brighter skies and wintry showers following along the hide. A band of rain from Wales and southwest England will probably move through the Midlands, East Anglia and South East England through the course of Monday. And then we go into a brighter, showery type uh, scenario. Temperatures in the south going to be around 10 degrees early on then probably falling back in the north it will be cold especially over the snow fields in Scotland temperatures only around two or three degrees up there what else can happen well as we go through into Tuesday we're into this strong and cold northwesterly winds that's going to bring in wintry showers across the country most of the showers will be in the northwest. Very few in the south and eastern part of the country. There will stay mostly dry with sunny spells, but plenty of wintry showers packing into the northwest. That's a mix of rain, hail, sleet, snow, probably coming increasingly towards snow as the day goes on and cold air digs in from the northwest. Temperatures will be cold on Tuesday with a range from around 3 degrees in the north to around 8 degrees in the south. It will feel colder than that in those northwesterly winds. Wednesday will start to build up a slight transient bump of high pressure ahead of this next area of low pressure. So Wednesday starts probably with a frost, particularly in the north. There'll be further wintry showers in northern and western parts of the country. Very few showers getting through to the east and southeast again. So for many eastern parts of the country, actually a nice spell through the middle part of the week. Mainly dry, plenty of sunshine, a bit on the cold side, but in the February sunshine, probably not feeling too bad. It will be in the north and in the west where we have those wintry showers, but they'll die out through the day as this ridge builds in from off the Atlantic. Temperatures will be cold again on Wednesday. Frost is likely early and late, particularly over snow fields in the north. Uh, temperatures ranging from around 3 to uh, 9 degrees Celsius. Not quite as cold down in the south, but uh, quite a cold day up in the north. Then we've got this next low, 
coming in from off the Atlantic Wednesday night into Thursday. There's fun and games with that because the exact track is to be determined. The further south that low pressure is, the greater the risk of snow as that system pushes in off the Atlantic. But on the other hand, the further north it is, the bigger the warm sector will be. And so the greater the chance of rain with snow primarily uh, restricted to the north and over high ground. At the moment, it's too early to say what happens with this system. So let's just say a band of rain, sleet and snow pushes across the country on Wednesday night into Thursday. So Thursday starts wet with either rain, sleet, possibly snow in places too. All of that pushes eastwards across the country through the morning and then brighter skies follow along behind. Uh, for Thursday afternoon, it turns milder then with this one. We start to pull in a warm sector uh, across the country. So temperatures will lift up a bit on Thursday. In the north, probably going up to around 6 or 7 degrees. In the south, probably back into double digits, probably up to around 11, maybe 12 degrees. Although it won't feel that mild in those westerly winds. And then into Friday, where the low pressure just keeps coming. So the next low is coming in on Friday. Quite a bit of uncertainty, though, by the time you get to this point in the forecast. I think we could be looking at quite a cold, showery type day for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Showers probably uh, mainly of snow in the far north. For England and Wales, heavy rain pushes pushing up from the southwest again. That might turn to snow on its northern edge. If it gets far enough north, that would be to sort of northern England and southern parts of Scotland. Temperatures in the south look mild, potentially very mild, 10, 11 degrees there, a lot colder up in the north. And then next weekend, it looks like we take that low pressure away to the east and we start to pull in colder air from the north. There will be still be more areas of low pressure in the Atlantic, so if those areas of low pressure start trying to push into that cold air, we could have fun and games as we go into the opening days of March, but that's outside the weekend forecast time frame. Of course. So Saturday, probably showers or longer spells of rain, wintry in the north, all of that clears away. And then for Sunday, quite a cold day, snow showers in the north, wintry showers draped around the coast. Could be a lot of dry weather inland, expect an increasing risk of frost through the course of next weekend. Finally, the charts for weather outlook. So we've got wintry showers uh, up in the north today. Snow showers across the northern half of the country, mainly dry down south. Big contrasting temperatures today, very mild in the south, up to 13 degrees, mid 50 is Fahrenheit. But up in the north, it is a lot colder up there. Sunday starts really wet across many parts of the country with heavy rain zipping away to the east. And then we're left with uh, brighter skies coming in from the west. We get through into Monday and we've got all of this stormy weather uh, going on. So there's a risk of significant snow in the north overnight Sunday and into Monday as well. There could be a real snow event up there. If I have time, I'll do snow watch and have a look at that in detail this evening. Uh, rain further south, severe gales as well possible on Monday. So it's all, all happening on a Sunday night into Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, there are a couple of drier cold. Colder days with wintry showers in the north and west. And then we go through to Thursday and Friday. It's quite a lot of uncertainty. Heavy rain moving in off the Atlantic. There could be snow mixed in with that. It depends on where that snow is. depends on the exact track of the low pressure. So that's one to watch for Thursday. And then on Friday, more rain in the south. Cold and drier. Further north. And with so much happening and... Um, you know, just a very, very complex setup. Expect changes to this. It's a relatively low confidence forecast, this, in terms of the, in terms of the detail. The broad pattern is relatively straightforward. It's very unsettled. Uh, but in terms of how far south was that cold air digs and where the rain-snow divide is... Um, Expect changes on this forecast, especially through the second half of the week and into next weekend. But in summary, it's going to be another very unsettled week. There's going to be more heavy rain to come. It can only exacerbate the flooding problems. There will also be severe gales at times, particularly in the north. The difference this week is that cold air is getting involved. So there will be an increasing risk of snow in the northern half of the country in particular. Mainly rain down in the south. Temperatures up and down in the south will be a cold week though up in the north. Expect changes in the days ahead on this forecast.
Right, a bit of an extended one because there's so much to uh, talk about. We're only one video in for today. We've still got the um, week's 10 day video update to come. We've still got the CFS and Beijing Climate Centre 6 month long again. And if I can get it in, I'll do Snow Watch for you uh, tonight as well, looking at that snow um, event potential for Sunday night and Monday in the northern half of the country. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.